Hey guys, so today I'm actually going to show you how to make a beautiful duct tape belt. This one is my personal copy. Um, however, the one that I'm making in the video, I'm actually making for um, someone that I sold one to. So it is a little bit different. However, the steps are pretty much still the same. Yeah. Anyway, so um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you at the end of the video. Bye! Alright, here's what you're going to need. A roll of duct tape, whatever pattern you prefer. A pair of scissors. A tape measure. Two D-rings. Alright, let's get started. The first thing that you're actually going to do is you're going to roll out your duct tape and stick it on a surface where it's easy to peel off. I used my kitchen table. And then next you're going to take your tape measure and you're going to make it exactly how many inches you want it. And then you're going to add six more to it. So uh, mine was 28 inches and then I added six more inches so it came to 34. Alright, and then you're going to make a mark. Oh, I lied. I guess I... I don't know why I'm marking 32. I thought I needed 28. Oh no, you know what? It was 26. I'm sorry. So I'm actually marking it with a marker. And I'm going to cut right on that line. You'll see me do it in just a second here. Right now I'm cutting right on that line. Awesome. All right, and then next, maybe about like an inch or so in, um, not even an inch, like a half inch or so, you're going to want to place both of your D-rings kind of back to back. Pay attention closely to what I'm doing because it, it'll make more sense. <laughs> See what I mean by back to back in just a second. See how I've kind of put I put the first one in and then I kind of I wanted to separate the two, so I'm smushing just a little bit down just to kind of separate the two rings. And then I'm gonna put the other one on and tape it together. And of course my big hand is in the way so you can't see very well. Awesome. And there you go. See how they're kind of, they're a little bit separated but they're pretty close together. Alright. So next I'm going to peel this off of the table and flip it over. And I'm going to put another piece of duct tape right on the side. And you could just like roll this one out kind of as you go. It was easier for me to do it that way than it was to make the big old piece. And then now I'm just kind of smushing it all together. Hey guys, so I hope you enjoyed that tutorial and if you guys try and make one yourself, please let me know 
and show me what it looks like. Oh, look, that was kind of cool. All right, I'm just being a dork now. Anyway, so, um, yes, and it's actually very, very simple, and I hope you guys give it a shot, and if you do, please um, either send me a video response or something, something cool. I don't know, just so I can see what you guys make, too, because it's kind of fun. I actually go on here, and I search for all these people and see all the cool stuff that they made, and I think it's pretty awesome that we're all a bunch of crafters out there, and, and that everybody kind of has a unique personality to the stuff that they make. Alright guys, so please let me know what you think, um, and if you try it, like I said, give me a shout out, something, I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, bye guys!